How's it going? Jeff here from Deep Cycle Battery San Diego. Today we're going to talk to you about testing batteries and their ability to hold a charge um, so that perhaps you can do the testing on your own and not have to hire a professional to come out like a customer called me yesterday on Sunday because their marine, uh, their boat batteries, the house power was fluctuating voltage on a 12 volt system. So I'm going to give you a formula that does not have to be performed in any particular order. The VACE, voltage, amps, cable, and electrolyte. This particular battery is a six volt golf cart battery made by Crown, but this formula works with all flooded batteries that you can access the electrolyte. Okay, we'll talk about gel batteries and AGM on another video. So let's start with voltage. The battery voltage can be by, tested by probing with a simple voltmeter by pushing the probes deeply into the lead, not, in, not into the stainless steel, but into the lead. So here I have the positive terminal and then the negative terminal here. And if you can do it with one hand, you're doing great. So I can see that the battery voltage is 6.26, 6.27. That's really, really good. Fully charged is probably 6.3. So the voltage is really good. Okay, batteries can have voltage, but no amperage. Uh, we see that when the top of the plate will hold the voltage, but the base of the plates are no longer providing power. So we're gonna do an amperage test. Uh, here's some good information that you may not be able to find on the internet. Golf cart battery, about 225 amp hour, has a rating of about 650 cold cranking amps, so 650 CCA. We're gonna take a battery load tester, and we're gonna connect it to the positive and negative terminals of the battery, and we're gonna watch the battery voltage hold as we pull amps off of the battery. On a load test, I'm gonna rate the load about half of the CCAs that the battery has brand new, which is 650, so I'll hit it with about 300 plus amps. I don't wanna see the voltage drop significantly because that would indicate that the battery had voltage but no amperage. So let's turn that off. So we hit the battery here with about 300 plus amps. If I can get it to go that high, and we're holding really strong at five point, about 5.8 uh, volts. So this battery, I'm gonna hold it for 10 seconds. This battery has the amperage also. So this battery is testing good in these two situations. You'll notice that this box will get hot and the terminals will be getting a little bit hot too. So we did the voltage, we did the amperage. Let's talk about the cables. Again, no particular order in this formula. Here's some cables that I've pulled, pulled off that have been uh, customers' cables in the past. Here we have a one uh, or two gauge cable. That's in relatively good shape. We grab the head and we, we pull it around. We don't want to see any kind of wiggling, significant wiggling that would indicate that the that the wires inside this lug have become separated. We want to make sure that there's a good connection. You check the battery connection also at the terminal. You want to get rid of wing nuts. I'm not a real big fan of wing nuts. I think hex nuts are the best way to go. And you want to make sure that the cable is not pivoting. If you got a pivoting cable, then you got a problem. Make sure that thing is secure. So this cable is in good shape. Here's a Here's a cable that we pulled out the other day out of the boat. You can see there's a significant amount of corrosion. You can see it's actually uh, swelling in, underneath the insulation. If you look closely, you can see that the insulation has a lot of uh, wrinkles where the heat has been causing the insulation to shrink. This is a big problem. I don't know how long this lasted, but this person has all kinds of resistance and heat. Heat to your battery is never a good thing. Replace the cable, so that's easy. So we talked about the cable. Let's talk about electrolyte. So first thing you want to check, as I checked my customer yesterday, I popped up the caps and I checked the voltage. The, 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 the customer had the voltage, but we looked inside and we didn't have any electrolyte. In fact, the plates were completely dry. The customer asked me a question that probably you might have. Um, can I just add water and can I just charge the battery? Will it come back? And that's a really good question. I would say that in this particular customer situation, because the plates were so dry, it would be a waste of time. The corrosion is internally has already started. However, if you look in there and the plates are moist, but the water level has dipped below, there's a good chance, possibly, that you can just add some distilled water back to the top of the plate, not fill up the cell completely, just to the top of the plate. Cap the, cap the cell and recharge the battery. You might find that the battery comes back. So we're checking electrolyte, and this you can't see in here, but the electrolyte is above the plates by about a quarter inch. I'm gonna use what's the old fashioned Easy Red hydrometer, which is my favorite hydrometer. And I'm gonna check the specific gravity, and you can see that we're coming up here to 1.25, zero. You gotta do a full sample. Each one of these cells is separated, okay? And you wanna see values that are closely aligned. This one came up a lot higher, 1.275. You don't wanna see a big variance in these cells. And this one came up to 1.25 again. So the middle cell is actually higher values. 
This battery is a 2017, so it's a three January, uh, February. So it's got some, it's got some years on it. So I would expect to see some variance. The good thing is the specific gravity says that the battery is, is in healthy shape. So I checked my voltage, I checked my amperage, I checked my cables, and I checked my electrolyte. Those, those, any one of those things obviously will will, will um, help you identify what's ca causing the problem. Last thing, which is not part of the formula, just make sure your batteries are clean on top. If you've got mud and all kinds of dirt and debris on top, or oil or grease on top of your battery that's just covering the top of it, just to have fun, take a voltmeter and put it on the positive terminal and stick it in the dirt, and you may see you have about four volts draining into the top of the battery. Not a good thing. So just make sure you keep the top of your batteries clean. Hey, that's my video for today. If you have any questions, hit us up on email. I appreciate your time. Please subscribe and always look forward to your comments. Take care.